Hello everybody and welcome once again to a quick tip from Forever Stranded. In this episode I'd like to do some unbreakable tools. And the reason I'd like to do unbreakable tools is I've been spending quite a lot of time repairing tools and making processes to make tools. So I decided it was time to make some unbreakable ones. So let's have a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and we're going to make some paper tools. Now I think the first thing I'm going to do is to make on the part builder here an obsidian sharpening kit and if you see here it says mining level cobalt so I'll make one of those first of all and then we'll come to the pattern chest here put that away and we will get the what should we make today let's make a an axe so just a straightforward pickaxe a normal axe I think that's these three I'll just double check it a hatchet I want. Yes, that's what we need. We're going to make these three things out of paper. So let's put each one of those into there like that. Make one of these. Tells you what the material cost is. Five in that case, it's not too much. And writable paper. I could also make other stuff like I've done here. So for example, here's a paper hammer and here's a a paper lumber axe. So what we can do now is we've got these three things. We'll put these, we'll assemble these together to make a hatchet like that. Then what we do with this is we need to make some modifiers, reinforcement modifiers. So in my backpack I've got at the moment I've got the things prepared for this. So I've got some blank casts. They can be, they don't have to be blank casts and some obsidian. So five plat casts and five forty obsidian, and we'll simply make the modifiers here, reinforcement modifiers like that, and then we put those onto the tool. So in this case, we're doing this one like this. So each one of these increases its unbreakability by one until it gets unbreakable like this, and that's actually all I need for. Um, A farmer or a, a chopper or the farming station we don't need more than that we don't need to import, reinforce it with anything else that's just fine and that'll work just perfectly now the next thing we're going to do let's put these away and come back to the pattern chest here and we shall make a pickaxe of course I've got to go and get some more bits and pieces for a pickaxe I think that's just a straightforward like this because I've got to know, I've got a pickaxe already, but I want this one here is a silk touch, but it breaks because it's millennium. So let's make a pickaxe first of all. Next, so we want. I think this is what we need for this. I have to check it, but I'll do that afterwards. We've got plenty of paper, so it's no big deal. Take that into that. So we then go to the tool station and make a pickaxe. So I can just shift click those into place. Oh, I made the wrong thing. I need the pickaxe head, don't I? Let's go back to the pattern chest here. That's the one I wanted. Not a wide guard. Actually, I don't know why I've got a wide guard for that. I haven't made a sword yet. So from here, we just need a pickaxe head. And we can put the wide guard away into this chest here with the next chest here which is the parts chest so we don't need that and away it goes into there so let's finish this pickaxe off now with the right bit so now I need to get some more gold and um, some obsidian well I've got plenty of obsidian at the moment and this chest here I'll just take out take a stack of those and eight more And then we come over to the smelter, smeltery, and get five more plates. Or well, empty casts, blank casts is what I need. Okay. So what we need, oh, we need to go back to the 
crafting station first of all and craft these up again like that and then we put them onto tool forge onto here like this now when we look at this we've got it's writable to it now it's unbreakable but we have got no more modifiers left so now i'm going to add another modifier in fact i'm going to add at least one or two modifiers so in my, in my bag again here i've got some modifiers let's take those out of here like that and we're going to attempt, make put some modifiers we'll just do one at a time we'll start with the iron one I'll put this onto the pickaxe here like this so now it becomes still unbreakable and this time it's got one modifier on it so we'll put it on here like this now with this obsidian sharpening kit which is easy to make you put that and a piece of flint so we take a piece of flint out of the bag here because I've got one I've got one prepared in here look amazing huh and then you get this modifier now the mining level is cobalt if you look at this one here the mining level is stone and now it's cobalt so we can now dig down cobalt but it's not particularly fast so we need to add some more modifiers to it and I'll just get some redstone out of the system I'll take about three stacks I think and put those on to, into this so we need a second modifier which I think we've yes two modifiers oh I've actually got two modifiers so we'll put a stack of, onto here like this so it's got haste should put the tool in first shouldn't I then it's got as it say hastier more and it hasn't got any more modifiers so we need to give it another modifier I'll use this one and then when we put the redstone on this time we need more redstone on it I think as it say hastest and I think that's as much as you can go. If we actually put another modifier on it here, like that, we can then start to put more redstone on potentially hastier, so it's even faster. And I don't think there's any more we can put on that. But just to be absolutely sure, let's get some more another stack of redstone out of out of the system. Uh, so it still had a little bit more space for some more and I think that, that'll be it because there's no more modifiers and we've actually used all the modifiers we can on this so let's go and test it out so in my backpack I've got these I've got these materials let's put them down let's do it like this one more I think So that's cobalt, that's obsidian, oops that's iron sorry, went too far, that's obsidian, gold and cobblestone. Let's get the pickaxe into place and then we can attack these, so let's see, stone, one, fairly quick, gold, a little bit slower, obsidian, oh, broke a lamp, iron was very fast and cobalt, is actually also quite fast. And in fact, on here I've actually got a magnet, so let's just turn the magnet on. And it picks up stuff, I'm going to have to replace that bit, but no big deal. So, so that's that pickaxe. So that's really not a replacement for this one, because I've got on this one here I've got uh, silk touch as well, and haste. And the last thing I wanted to show you was how to make the sharpening kit, wasn't it? Sharpening kit's fairly straightforward. What you do, it's actually it's actually part of the um, stencil table. So one of these is a sharpening kit, like that. And you make the stencil for that, and then you can make the a material like stone. If you want to make stone ones, you can then put that onto the smelter and smelt it and put some gold on it, and then you will get some. Uh, if I put it on here, for example, I get a gold a cast. I think I've got my casts in here, so I've got a sharpening kit cast in here. I could put that on there and then cast whatever's in here and there should be 
There's some blood in there at the moment because I was making some pig iron. So that was that. I hope you enjoyed this 10 minute episode. Bye for now.